So hello guys, it's Kev here again and welcome back to another video. This video is episode number two in the 10 camps we all should be trying series. So this camp, a little bit about it quickly. Um, I'm trying to raise money for the Invictus Games, which is uh, a charity for uh, like a, a games event for uh, wounded service men and women that, uh, you know, have lost limbs or got injured uh, serving for the country. So. I'm out here and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have this hand taped up so I can't use it. <laughs> and then there's Lily's set up look. Then I'm going to set up camp and do everything else around camp as if my left hand was gone. Uh, it's going to be a challenge I'm sure. But uh, it's for a good cause you know. These, these people are out there overseas protecting our freedom so if I can raise a little bit of money um, I will try. Um, this has been, I've been nominated from Nobby, this is Step Away From The Screens nomination. Uh, I will be nominating three people at the end of this video. And uh, I'll put the link in the description as well as on the card somewhere around there. So you can just tag on and if you want to donate, uh, you can do. So, let's get taped up and get into the video. So here we are then, we have it wrapped. I cannot use this hand. So, we're going to start the In Their Shoes Challenge. I'm going to go set up and see how I get on. Um, I can imagine, the, the, I forgot my tripod, so the camera's going to have to be close. Uh, probably on the uh, the gorilla pod. So, if you hear loads of grunting and moaning, sort of a noise that sounds like uh, on us Schwarzenegger making love to Honey Boo Boo's mum, it's not. It's just me. <laughs> in the woods trying out this challenge. Let's go for it. Days like these, they're few and far between. When the devil's off our backs and the slate is clean. When all there is is who we are. Got nothing left to prove no. or to atone for. And if I could, I surely would. And if I could, I surely would write days like these. like these when we leave the world behind just for a little while it's out of sight and out of mind okay so i'm sat here at the editing suite and i can appreciate that this might not be thrilling entertainment for you guys but i wanted to leave the footage in so you can see that i really was struggling with this with this challenge um you know and i, I I've, I've got no pain or anything at the end of the hand. Do you imagine if you was uh, really lost a limb now uh, and you was in pain trying to do this as well? Uh, so yeah, the footage is, like I say, it's not thrilling. I appreciate that. Please bear with me, guys. Like I say, I just really wanted to let people know that I did. I was struggling. It wasn't easy, and I was going through the motions, shall we say? Poured in every storm, and you are 
know you are safety, you are warmth, and you are peace on days like these. Days like these, they don't come around much anymore. Sometimes life can take its toll on what we're living for. Yeah, so even normal everyday simple things like clicking in a carabiner there uh, <laughs> was not possible. I just couldn't figure it. Oh, I couldn't get the loop open on the tree huggers to be able to pass the. Uh, uh, the carabiner through it. It was just, it's just something you take for granted. Um, yeah, it wasn't easy at all. strong enough to take all the life can throw. If I could, I surely would. If I could, I surely would. If I could, I surely would write days like these. Okay, so you can see that the hammock is laying all over the place. So I've got to take some uh, length off the tree huggers, and I do this by going around the tree an extra time. Um, but it's not easy. And again, every single time that I drop that thing on the floor, and I got stung on my hand doing all those nettles, um, which made it <laughs> a little bit more annoying. I was probably getting a bit fed up at this point already. Um, Frustrated, literally, it should be, be simple, but just losing that dexterity of missing one hand was enough to make everything a challenge. So, massive, massive respect, like I said, all the way through this challenge. We'll see you later in the video. That I grew a massive respect for these people that still go out there and try and live as normal life as I can after they've had a, a big injury or a big limb loss. Same again, just, just trying to open the, the straps here for the tree of this. It's proven too difficult. <laughs> Yeah, so that took 10 times longer than it normally would. Um, so now I don't mind speeding, speeding up a little bit for just now, just to keep you guys entertained. Um, but yeah, I'll speed up the footage a little bit now. But I just wanted you to see that first bit, even the first simple bit, just putting the hammer cup was hard work. How can nothing be going right?
everything was literally 10 times harder. Okay, so I can only just get this under blanket on the uh, DD Line XL on the best days. Not when I've got this restricted dexterity in the hand. No. No, no, no. How the hell am I going to do originally? Okay. So, we've got a bed, we've got another blanket, and we've got the t uh, crew. Put a ridge line up. Uh, I'm going to try and go without a tarp, you know. I think the weather's giving all right. But I have got a 3x3 free free there. I'm going to put it in diamond configuration because that should just be uh, two prussic knots I can slide and uh, two pegs. That's going to be it. But we're set up. Thank God, that was hard, man. I am sweating. That was hard work. Uh, Hats off to anyone that does anything, you know, any sports or any adventurous stuff, anything, when they've uh, suffered a severe injury like that. Massive respect to all of you. Okay, guys, so we've got the Dutch oven, some beef, and I've got some veggies. So let's have a go at uh, trying to make something like a stew. <laughs> got some beers too. We do the uh, one-handed beer opener. Cheers. Put that in there, but well, I was cooking over for a minute. This bit will be easy enough. Chopping the veggies might be a bit tricky, but at least I can't. Uh, at least I can't lose any fingers. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, excuse me. Paul oh, kindly donated me a bit of leather, so it's going to come in pretty handy actually. The makeshift chopping block. No idea how I'm going to do this weed. The carrots are just going to get the ends cut off. The onion's going to get chopped. The parsnip's going to get chopped. And that's the rest of it. No, no idea. Okay. I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of that. I can go. Feed the rabbits. Well, this is pretty easy actually. to the end I would imagine. Okay, yeah, so that was pretty easy. Try the onions. For goodness sake. 
Let's change this camera for a minute. Very nice tiny bit better. Yeah, that's not too bad. Parsnip. Um, same again, I think I'm just going to leave the skin on. Okay, so now the Swede, and I'm not looking forward to this one, truth be told. Actual fact, that bit that I thought was going to be tough wasn't that bad. I don't think Gordon Ramsay is going to be coming knocking on my door anytime soon, but not too bad. So the sun's just gone down now, and one of the things I'm noticing over the... Uh, the woods I normally go to, which is a bit more local to me than this, it's about half an hour, so it's not far. It's just the countryside. That's all I can hear. Well, I can hear an airplane actually, but no road. I love my spot, but that road is a killer sometimes. That's ace, isn't it? Awesome. Just awesome. So Stu's ready. Give you a sneaky peek. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've seen that movie so many times. It's hot. There we go. There's the stew. Just burning my fingers. Obviously they're not burning these fingers. <laughs> these, these clever lads give me a left-handed glove. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get it dished up. So, good morning guys, and what a beautiful morning it is. Still got my uh, hand bandaged up. Uh, we're going to have breakfast and that now, so I'll bring you in for that. But, yeah, my study morning. Everyone's all just being quiet for me, look. <laughs> yes, oh. oh no, Paul. Subs are going down again. <laughs>
didn't like, I like these. I didn't like the thing. So I managed to open all the packets easily enough. So I've got sausages, bacon and black pudding and buns I'm going to have for my breakfast. Well I say breakfast, it's lunch now. Um, but yeah, and then after that, I think we're going to set the tape off, see if my hands all shriveled up. And then I'll probably call that good. That will be uh, like the 24 hours up. And uh, yeah, it's been interesting. Some things I thought was going to be hard, like doing the veg wasn't so hard. Um, but other things was hard, you know, so, some things were as hard as expected, like setting up and that. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely uh, earned a lot more respect for anyone that is going out with, uh, you know, limited capabilities from, uh, you know, as a result from injuries. Um, but I'll put this out there to any of my subscribers who are watching, who want to get out but can't, if they want to come out, I'll, if you live close enough to me, you can come to my permission um, and come and have a camp with me. Now, you can bring your own kit, or you can even, I'll even supply the kit. Uh, you can never go by yourself, or, you know, I can help you, or whatever. What I'm trying to say is, if you want to have a camp, I've got a nice place to do it, nice safe place, easy place. So, yeah, I look forward to seeing if anyone uh, wants to come and have a camp. And that'll be from my thanks to you for uh, going out and protecting uh, protecting our freedom. So that's just going to be about the end of this challenge then. Not quite the end of the video yet, but the end of the challenge. Thanks Nobby for nominating me. I'm now going to nominate, nominate um, Wild Ginger Bruce. Bruce is, uh, I think it's close to his heart. Uh, Servicemen with them tip you have done a lot of charity work for the uh, Help Heroes before. I also want to nominate Hayes Outdoors. Uh, he's such a witty bloke that I think it'll be uh, great to see what sort of one line he can come up with. Uh, I'm not sure if he watches my video, so if people could share this around and get the message over to Hayes, see if he wants to participate. And I think I will nominate. Well, I can't think now, but from the other, I need one more. Let's have a go with Gareth. Let's have a go with Gareth then from Gareth and Zoe Wild Camps. We'll go for you, Gareth. Sorry about that, bud, but at least you'll have your, your camera lady to help you like I've had to use my little camera lady this time. So, this part of the video is over. Thank you very much, and we'll get back to normal camping. There we are. All right, here we go. Oh, I Kind of reminds me of uh, one of those creatures coming out of a cocoon. Yeah, like an alien. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, Thing. Thing was the hand. Oh. Uh. And I've got a challenge for you. Bit of helmet down, <laughs> bit of helmet down hand. Oh man, it's white. Oh. Oh. You smell like the inside of oh, the belly look. button. Oh. oh god, that feels good. I'll bet. Oh. Bit your hand's gone cold now, isn't it? Lick it, go on, lick it. Oh, <laughs> he's such a wrong man. I was actually only joking, and he took it serious. Oh, oh you bullied me into that. <laughs> oh, it's sore, you know. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's not staying in the bath too long, is it? But that's it now. Hello. I'm recording you, recording, you, recording me, me, recording you. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Well but done, big, mate. Well big done. respect to everyone that has to live like that. Definitely. Right. You know, and especially if you're lost a limb protecting our freedom. So. Yeah, 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 I agree with that. Sorry with that. Sorry with that. So is everyone having fun? Oh, it's great fun. Enjoy yeah. yourself. I can actually clean up a bit now. Yeah. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> Lily, I can get you in there. Weirdo.
rusty sticky mat. Oh. Rusty sticky yeah, there. Yeah. Oh. Stand next to Kevin. Rusty mat Y stick. Like this? Yeah, yeah, That'll be alright. Hey, you're getting a bit of brown on it. You're doing good. Is this. Hey, Bunda. Is this the first time doing marshmallows? Yeah. Good. That's really nice, no, it's not. No, we've done them at home with him. He's just forgotten. He's a fibber. He's a liar. Let me just. Yeah, that won't be too hot, I don't think. <laughs> no. Oh, that, no, that was the spike. Well Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the reflexes of a jaguar. <laughs> Speed of the puma. <laughs> yeah, just give it a second and then you can eat it. That's it, good boy. Does anybody want any more milk? I'm good. Oh, go on, shut it in. By the time, by the time you've ate your wrap, it should be done. Do you want me to hold that for you, Kev? No, no. So, I brought a, a pork joint for everybody. We've brown it off. Now we're just doing it the Carlisle way and we're there. Then they cook inside the tin foil for a bit. Yeah. I'd have to have one with six feet so they could ah. like a VW or something. Look at that. That wrapped in tinfoil is a massive joint of pork that's just stuck there. Doing a John Carlisle one more time. Yeah, that's a good one. 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 Everyone's had a slice, everyone seems to be happy. Is, nice. is that good mate? <coughs> now I've got the chicken and uh, seconds on the pork. Oh, so where we are guys, good morning to you all. Uh, a lovely good morning. It's pretty late actually, I've had a good sleep, it's about half past four. And uh, yeah, sun is shining. Just panning around, we've got a uh, topless again. Just see the sun and the trees and the blue sky, it's awesome. Birds are singing. Oh, one thing for it coffee and bacon, let's do it. <laughs> Scary looking thing that. The cord Schwarzenegger beetle. Why, why are you coming close? You can't have the bit. Whoa! Hello. Ready? Told you needed a lager. Ready? Yep. Pirates Will. Who's Will? What's he done? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
gas. Yeah. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> yep. I got sprayed to fudge. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> So, backpack's on then. That's it. I've got to say goodbye to Ant and a big thanks for. Uh... Right, thanks for coming. Thank you for coming. Oh, I've come here, you've got a Thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting us, bud. Anytime, mate. Anytime. Yes, that's it. That's the end of this video. I'd hope if I didn't have my hand on the screen, wouldn't it? Yes, that's the end of this one. Episode 2 done, finished. Episode 3 next week, guys. 8 o'clock next Thursday. No, this one will be released on Thursday, won't it? Dave Edale, the week after, you're going to get Edale. So that should be a mega one. Might be a long video too, that one. Uh, challenge was good. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was hard. It definitely added a different element to the camp. Um, I'm pleased I did it. Please donate if you can. If you can't donate, you're not in a position to. Please share the videos around and share the link around in social media. See if we can drum up a bit of support. Uh, drum up a bit of support for these uh, people in the Invictus game. So thank you very much and we'll catch you in the next one.